Presonus gave us exactly what we need from an interface as streamers. The Revelator IO24 and IO44 interfaces come with the Universal Control app, equipped with live microphone processing, three virtual inputs, and three sub mixes. What makes this interface special is the onboard DSP and virtual mixer, allowing you to apply some of Presonus's very own VSTs to your microphone in real time. This will process the audio within the device so you don't have to use any more of your computer's CPU. It allows for real-time monitoring with nearly zero latency, something many users wish they could do with voice meter. I managed to do all my microphones processing as well as properly powering my microphone with the 60 decibel preamp built into this interface. Overall, this interface deserves an 8 out of 10. I docked two points from the score and we will talk about those cons at the end of this video. With this app, you can set up three virtual inputs. So we can set our default playback device to one, our communication audio to another, and use Ear Trumpet to send music or any other source to the third virtual input. After separating the audio, we can set those sources up in OBS so we can mix them for our streaming needs. The app also makes it easy to label each source so you can set them up how you want. The onboard DSP makes vocal processing very high quality and also very low latency. Instead of applying VST plugins in OBS, I've done all of my vocal processing within this app. With the noise gate, I removed background noises. What makes this noise gate special is the expander option. By Toggling this on, it will switch to a downward expander, which will push the audio down, preventing all background noise when the gate opens. I have used the standard compression for my mic, but this tool comes with multiple compression filters. With some practice, you can get artistic sounds with the tube and FET compression. The EQ also comes with different types. I use the standard EQ, but you can use passive or vintage VSTs for different results. You can also set the order of processing for the EQ and compression by pressing these arrows. The filter on the left will be the first in the processing chain. I've set compression to process first before my EQ gets applied. It also has a limiter and you can apply voice effects for some fun if you want. On the device, I can set the blend for monitoring my microphone. By sliding this to the left, I will hear my microphone louder. By pressing down on the knob, I can set the volume of the speaker and headphone devices as well. The arrows on the device let you set the volumes for the input sources. The IO44 comes with XLR, headset, and line-in inputs. Now let's talk about some of the downsides. One thing I couldn't figure out is how to make the virtual mic source work as stereo in OBS. So instead of using the virtual mic source that comes with the interface, I had to use one of the submixes for my microphone, to prevent the audio from only coming through on the left side. This takes away one of the submixes that could be used for something else. So that's definitely a con. Unless I'm just doing something wrong, and if that's the case, please let me know in the comments below. Another thing I wish this came with was more virtual inputs and submixes. I think all apps and devices should shoot for a minimum of five inputs and outputs when creating a virtual mixer. That would give us users more freedom and control when we're mixing our audio. Don't get me wrong, the Revelator IO44 comes in at 180 bucks, which is a huge bang for buck when you look at all the tools it comes with. It will work well with every mic because of the 60 decibel preamp and the 48 volt phantom power if you need it. If they just fix those few downsides, this interface would literally be perfect. If you thought this interface is cool, you'll definitely think this virtual mixer from Steer Series is amazing. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.